All right, so we're looking at roots and indices. And what do these mean? So looking at the law of exponents, the index laws that you need to know can be summarized as follows. So the summary of index laws can be as follows. If you've got a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n, it's going to equal a to the power of m plus n. When we multiply like bases, we add the powers to each other. So we take that and we plus it like that. So multiplying like bases, we add powers. When we divide like bases, we subtract the powers. All right, so m minus n comes together. You notice we keep the base the same. We bring it together over there. And if I have a power in a bracket to another power, what you'll notice is in this case, we multiply them. So it'll be m n. So if you have a bracket like 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 6, this is going to be the same as 2 to the power of 3 times 6, which is 2 to the power of 18, for example. An example of this one would be if I have x to the power of 4 over x to the power of 2, it will be x to the power of 4 minus 2. And this one, y to the power of 5 times y to the power of 4 equals y to the power of 4 plus 5, which is y to the power of 9. All right, all the different laws over here, different examples as well of each one. Let's look at the next one. If you have a, b to the power of n, it'll equal a to the power of n times b to the power of n. An example of this, x to the power of xy, let's say, to the power of 2 will become x squared, y squared. The power gets distributed and multiplied by the power on the inside. So if it's x to the power of 3 times y to the power of 3, let's say, squared, then we take that 2 and multiply it by 3, which will become 6. And we take that 2 and multiply it by that 3, which will become 6 as well. And so x to the power of 6, y to the power of 6 x to the power of 2, y to the power of 2. We distribute the power multiplying it by each of the powers on the inside. The next one, if I have a to the power of 1 over m, it can be rewritten as the mth root of a. So a to the power of 1 over 2 is actually the square root of a. There's an imaginary 2 here we don't really need to put a to the power of 1 over 3, we have to put a 3 there. a to the power of 1 over 4, that's the fourth root of a. a to the power of 1 over 100 is the hundredth root of a. So when we have it in root form or third form, we can rewrite it as 1 over whatever number is there. So if this is 3, it becomes 1 over 3. 4 becomes 1 over 4. 100 becomes 1 over 100. And we can go backwards. We can go back and forth between the two from each other. The next rule, if I've got a to the power of m divided by n, then what I do over here is separate the two powers. And it ends up like this. n the nth root of a to the power of m. We can also write this in another possible way as the nth root of a all to the power of m. Now this one has a little bit of a story behind it because by creating this, how do we go from there to there? If I have a to the power of m over n, this can be rewritten as a to the power of m 
times 1 over n. Or you can also write it as a to the power of 1 over n times m. There's two ways of writing this. Putting the m in front, putting the m at the end. And then if you put a bracket over here, keeping the 1 over n on the outside, or you put a bracket over here, keeping the m on the outside, you could then use the previous rule. The previous rule says if your power is 1 over m, it will be the mth root of it. So in that case, you're going to have a to the power of m over n, right? So we can rewrite this as the nth root of a to the power of m, changing the 1 over n into some kind of root. All right, now the next one is very much similar to this one. This is going to be the nth root of a to the power of m. And you can see you can get those two outcomes from there. All right, so that's what we remember when we do have this rule. The next rule is if I have a to the power of negative m, it will equal 1 over a to the power of positive m. a to the power of 1 will equal a. And a to the power of 0 will equal 1. Remember that in index notation, a over here is known as the base. And n over here is known as the power or exponent. It's also known as an index. One index, many indices.